first off, thank you everybody for coming and welcome. Uh, those of you who have been here before, you know how uh, wonderful today can be where we really hear from people uh, and all their hard work over the past year. Uh, through the Teacher Leader Program, we've met uh, once a month on a Saturday for a full day and we've met with movers and shakers of the community and been able to pick their brains and figure out what they thought uh, the problems uh, we should focus on might be, or uh, potential solutions that are coming our way that we might want to build off of, or just get a general idea for uh, what we should be aware of that's happening. And then from there, we've been able to uh, do some research and look at a problem that we'd like to solve, or maybe just uh, enlighten others on a situation that maybe isn't as evident. So uh, our first presenter today uh, is Dave Verano, and he's going to be speaking on a uh, Nashua teacher's salary compared to free and reduced lunch, cost per pupil, and tax rates. So give it a hand for Dave. Uh, oh, right, yes. Okay, so I got my assistant who's gonna be changing these slides for me. Next one, please. Yeah, sure. Okay, that's me, I teach at Birchill. Got a bachelor's in sports, fitness, and leisure. Associate in Business, Masters in Human Resources, and Masters in Administration. I'm on the um, teaching negotiations right now, so I have to do on these topics which James already discussed. Next one, please, James. <coughs> now, what I did was I took these towns listed and compared the topics which we're gonna discuss to these towns. Distance-wise, Salem is almost 16 miles to the east of us. Concord is 35 miles to north of us, and Milford is 11 miles to the west of us, and it's the towns in between which we're gonna discuss. Now what I did was I made up this grid with all the salary schedules and took them and put them on this, comparing step one, bachelor's, step eight, bachelor's, master's step eight, master's step 12. For the uneducators who are in education, when they take your salary schedule, they take it by steps, and then they take it with your level of education, and they build it around that. Next one, please. Now, Nashua right now, when we're comparing salaries, with the bachelor step one, we're very competitive. We're number two, uh, behind Milford. The lowest one is Gosstown at 33,000, and we're at 40,000. Now, bachelor step eight, as you can see, we very quickly go down. Concord tops with 57,000, and then we're at 48,065 for bachelor step eight. As we get down to your master's step eight, it even widens more. We go from uh, 13 over to 15 with the master's degree. So really, why do teachers want to get more advanced degrees if they're gonna make less money on the advancement? When you go to your master's, Actually, back up one, please. Here. When you go to master's step 12, we come up a little bit. Clonk is still number one, but as you can see now, we're number 12 with a 11-8 uh, approximately difference between number one and number 12 with Pelham being the lowest one. Next one, please. Now these are just showing you differences between the uh, top and bottom with all the categories. Now, my hometown is Bedford, Mass. Our challenge right now, obviously, is we're a border town. When I took Bedford, Mass, compared to Nashua, we have some huge differences. We're, again, similar, starting out with $6,000, but again, that's Mass, we're in New Hampshire. As you go to Mass Step 12 in Massachusetts, you're making 60000 513 in Nashua. Down in Bedford, Mass, you're making 89,000 with a Step 12 master's degree. Next one, please. Now, your free and reduced lunch. Speaking <coughs> of food services yesterday, so I note on there, that, sta that stays somewhat competitive between last year and this year the same. We are currently number two in the state in 15 16 at 42, 52% for your free and reduced lunch, only behind Manchester. 
Now the lowest one for that one would be Hollis at 2.79% for your free and reduced lunch. Now your cost per pupil goes along with your tax rate, which we're gonna discuss coming up. We are out of the 15, 19 towns I surveyed, we're 15 out of 19 in your cost per pupil at 12,635 cost per pupil with the highest being Amherst at 18,000 and the lowest Manchester being $11,000. And again, if we're trying to strive to have the best schools, is that really gonna do it? Next one, please. Now again, this is showing you differences between the uh, top and bottom with the uh, $6,000 between the top and bottom and the top to national would be $5,500. Now, your local school tax rate, this amount of your taxes that's going towards your schools. Brookline is $23.59 per $1,000 going towards your schools. Milford is at $18.25. And Nashville is number 17 at $11.36 per $1,000 going towards your schools. With Salem and Manchester, the only two being below Nashua. Now my resources came from the New Hampshire Public Employee Labor Relations Board for all the uh, contract information. I had the New Hampshire Department of Education website for my information for all the other stats. And the real estate tax site for all your tax rates. And the Massachusetts the, um, Teachers Contract Salary Schedule for their information. Do you have any questions? Dave, can yes. you explain cost per pupil? I'm curious. Like my initial reaction is, are we providing fewer resources to our kids than, say, Amherst? They take the um, budget, I believe, and they will take your total number of students and divide that in district cost per pupil. And that depends on how the district wants to allocate that money. So it depends on how much money they're putting towards your education, towards your whole budget. So if I'm a parent, Amherst looks good. Yeah, sure. I, I would make that same assumption. <laughs> yeah. But again, it, it goes back to how the city looks at your, their taxes and how they want to fund their education. <laughs> Any more questions? Thanks, Thank you. You're welcome.